it's Deidre again. Today I have another tip for you. This has to do with high efficiency washing machines. Now I learned this a few years ago when I needed to buy a new washer and of course now we have to have the high efficiency washing machines. I'm sure there's a mandate somewhere that says you know for the conservation of water this is what we have to have now. Now mine is a top loader. I know that they make front loader machines and this may not work quite as well but the concept is still the same and you might be able to to do it to an extent. So when I was reading about this, um, you know, the science behind it is you're supposed to be able to clean the same clothes with less water. Well, the first couple of times I used it, I got very frustrated because I actually pulled some clothing items out that I didn't even think had gotten wet in the process. And I thought, well, you know, that's ridiculous. We need to at least make sure we have enough water in the machine to make sure that our clothes are getting clean, getting wet, going through the process. So I thought, well, how can I figure this out? So I did a little research and reading the manual on the washing machine, and it talks about, it goes through a process of weighing your clothes. So every load is supposed to be different depending on the weight of the clothes in there. So I thought, okay, well, I need to add more weight. And because I got frustrated that I felt some clothes came out and weren't wet, I thought, well, I'm going to wet all the clothes as well before I start the cycle. There I've got two things that will really help me, is at least, when I pull them out, I'll go, okay, well, everything's at least wet. So what I came up with was, um, after I put my detergent in, and you spread everything around the outer side of the bin like you're supposed to, because it spins so much, is I always keep an empty jug that I can fill with water in my laundry room. So after I put the clothes in, what I do is I take that full amount of water, and not too quickly, I spread it around in the load to make sure that everything gets good and saturated. Alright, so that does two things. One, they're wet. I know they're wet. But it's also saturated enough into the laundry so that now it's heavier. So when this senses the weight of the load of clothes, it says, oh, there are more clothes in there than there actually are, and it puts more water in it. Now, there is one thing that you have to keep in mind. It is smart. It does a quick drain of the bin before it starts the cycle. So that's why I pour the water in slowly. If you were to pour it in just very quickly or, or just toss it against the side, when that cycle starts, it's going to drain that water out, and then it's going to do the weight measurement. That's not going to do any good. So that's why I take some time, pour it a little bit slowly, make sure that it's not something that's just going to seep through and, and leave the bin, such that when it takes that weight measurement, it's heavy clothes, and then it fills up accordingly with the water. And ever since I've been doing this, since I've had this machine, I feel like my clothes get wetter and they get cleaner. So that's a tip that I've really felt is very, very helpful, especially since we're going to more and more high efficiency products. So I hope you find that um, to be something that you can utilize in your day-to-day -day, because laundry is a fact of life, and uh, I'll see you next time.